Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to Digital Learning Days number one. Super exciting. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a slab vase. Um, a lot of you guys are just going to work with the clay that you have. Um, so if you don't have a lot of clay, you have to make your piece a little bit smaller. That's totally fine. Um, I'm going to start by walking through the process with everybody. Okay, so I'm going to start from the very beginning. I'm only going to be using tools that you would have at home. Okay, so everything that I'm going to show you are things that you can grab from your kitchen or whatever. Okay, hopefully we don't irritate any parents. Okay, so the first thing I did was to prepare a surface. Okay. So what I did is I took a piece of cardboard and I covered it in saran wrap, okay? So I just covered the piece with two pieces of saran wrap. I taped it on the back so I'd have some sort of surface to work on, okay? Um, the clay is sticking a little bit to the saran wrap. That should be okay. If you don't want to put the saran wrap on and just use cardboard, that would be fine too. No big deal. Okay. So. I have my surface ready. I'm going to start by creating my template. Okay, so a lot of you guys already did this, um, but I just grab a scratch piece of paper. I'm going to make something that's a little bit smaller. So I'm going to um, cut a template, kind of like the one I made in class uh, before, but it's just going to be a little guy. I'm just going to cut this little triangular shape, and this is what I'm going to use. These pieces don't have to be huge. Again, you're using the clay that you have. So if you don't have a lot of clay, you're going to make a smaller piece, and that's okay. So how to get started. I'm going to grab my clay. I'm going to put it down on my surface, and I'm just going to kind of flatten it out. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... Um, if you don't want, I'm sure your parents do not want you to get the rolling pins dirty, if you have rolling pins. Um, so I'm going to put some saran wrap over the top of my piece, okay? And then I'm going to grab my rolling pin and I'm going to roll it out, okay? You don't want them to be too thin because you want the pieces to be fairly thick, okay? So you don't want them to be too thin or else the piece is going to be hard to put together. So I'm going to just roll it out a little bit. It's nice and flat. I'm going to take the saran wrap off. If you do not have a rolling pin, you can use a can. Um, I could use my coffee cup. This is nice and round. I could put saran wrap around. Again, put it over the clay so you don't get anything dirty. Um, you can see that I did that and it worked great. Okay. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my template, okay, and I'm going to put it on top of my clay. And for this, I'm actually going to use just a plastic knife. Um, you could use a metal knife, but plastic I can throw away, so I can keep this for a while. Anything sharp, okay? So I'm going to use my little knife, okay, and I'm going to cut my little shape out of clay. Ta-da! Okay, and I'm going to... Oop, I've got another one. So I can, I can actually create another slab right next to it. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Cut with my knife. Ta -da. Okay. I'm going to get rid of the excess of clay. And then I'm going to gently, because sometimes the clay sticks to the um, cling wrap or whatever. Okay. I've got my shape. One down. Okay. I've got two down. Ta da. Okay, and I've got my template here, and now I'm going to do the same thing so that I have four walls, okay? So I'm going to jump ahead to creating four walls. Okay, now we're back. Um, we just created the two 
slab pieces that I demoed. So I made four and um, I'm gonna show you how next to put the walls together, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're like I said before, we're just gonna use things that you have at home. So I have my two slabs, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab a plastic fork or you could grab a metal fork or whatever you want, fork fork, great, for scoring, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip and score these two pieces together, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fork and I am going to score one side of my slab like this. Da -da -da -da. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the other side, the same spot. I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to score this edge, okay? So then I'm going to connect my pieces like this. So this side is going to be on, you can see better that direction. This is going to go on here. So I'm going to score this edge, not this edge, this edge, okay? So I'm going to take my fork. I'm going to score this edge again. Dun, 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 dun. Sound effects make everything so much more fun. But you guys already know that. That's me. Okay, so I just scored my edges. The next thing I'm going to do is use my slip. Well, nobody has slip, so what we're going to do is we're going to use water. So I have this, just this little container, okay? This is just full of water. I'm just going to take my finger, get some water, and I'm going to fill in all of the score marks. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Okay, I'm gonna fill in all of those score marks. Uh, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put these two sides together. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to push this side down very gently. Okay. And then I'm going to kind of rub these edges together. So now you can see that these, the slabs are put together. Now, to make sure that it remains stable, okay, I am going to create a little coil. Oh, oh and by, oops, that's why I need to make a coil so it stays stable. Um, I took the saran wrap off of this cardboard. I think the saran wrap didn't really work as well as just the cardboard, so you don't really need that. So I'm gonna take this little mini coil, okay? And I'm going to hold one hand on the outside of the pot and one on the inside. So I'm going to very gently push this coil into the middle. Now what this is doing, is this is going to um, help to seal this edge so the two pieces are more stable and they don't fall apart, okay? So, I also wanna say that um, before I put these slabs together, I did pause the video and I allowed my slabs to firm up for a little while, um, so it wasn't straight out of the bag. So I actually put them, um, on a plaster surface in the sun for about 20 minutes just so that they weren't as wet. So um, that's just an idea that it's a little bit more stable. So I really smoothed out this whole coil on the inside. You can't even really see that there was a coil there anymore, okay? And then on this back side, I'm just going to smooth this a little bit too. Make sure I have a good edge. Now, because I didn't want you watching me putting the whole thing together, I already created another side. So I just put together two different sides, okay? And now I am going to re-put my slip on here. And I definitely didn't slip and score the right edges. So I'm going to score these edges again, because I want the, the edges that are gonna fit together. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I want the edges that are going to fit together 
the right way. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I am putting this pot together. Okay, so we've got this slab base. Um, now you need to add the coil to the inside. I know that it's going to be hard, harder to reach that area. So um, I have a few coils. Again, small coils. Oops, that one was a little too small. And I'm going to just stick this coil, okay, in there. And I'm going to just very gently smooth that out. Um, we haven't put the bottom on yet, which makes the putting the coils in easier. Ideally, your slabs would be a little bit drier, not too dry, but just a little bit more um, stable than mine are. And now it's getting hard for me to reach down there. So I'm actually using the back of my nail and I'm, I'm going into the side of the pot like this and I'm using my, my nail to kind of um, clean up this edge and combine this coil. So I'm gonna use the back of my nail. Now I have one more coil to put in on this side. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to put my coil in. Okay, there we go. You can see the coil in there. Okay, and then I'm going to hold the outside because I don't want my top falling apart. Now, remember, I'm doing this a lot faster than you guys would do it because I have a little bit more experience. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit more. Okay, so now here's my pot. Okay, so what what do i do next well the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to create the base of your pot so i'm going to take a little bit of clay hopefully you have clay left i'm going to just push it down because it doesn't need to be like perfectly flat that's not that big of a deal um i'm going to kind of smooth it out a little bit Oops, spill some water and then I'm gonna take something. Well, I didn't really wanna get my coffee cup dirty, but I guess we'll do that. I'm gonna take my coffee cup and I'm gonna put it down there. And I'm gonna trace with my knife around it. Oh, what am I doing? That's not what I'm doing. I'm sorry, we just forget all of that just happened. I'm going to put this pot, my pot, not my coffee cup, on top of the clay. And I'm going to actually cut the base to fit this pot. Okay? So you can see, I'm, um, I think that this technique works better than making the, than making the base before you create the pot, because sometimes you're pot gets slightly distorted and then the, the base of the pot doesn't fit as well as it could. So I like to do it this way. You're going to do the same thing. Let me move this. Um, you're going to do the same thing with this pot. I'm going to slip and score these edges. I'm going to put the water down. This piece of clay is really wet so I'm not really putting too much on it. I would normally score the bottom of this pot but again my base is really wet. I'm actually going to flip my pot over and I'm just going to gently combine and combine this clay by just pulling this edge down. Okay. Um, if you have little areas like this imperfections in your clay, you can pinch these together, okay? And then the final touch before I run out of time, good old old credit card or a gift card. All you have to do is use this to help clean up these edges. And then you can have a nice smooth pot.
Email me with questions. Goodbye.